Chevis Davis here and we're so excited. It's summertime and guess what? It's time to paint with faith. So we want you to know that we're here to service you and give you whatever you need. For social distancing, we have created the Paint with Faith packs. All you have is your canvas. You flip it over, you have your paint, your brush, your washcloth, and even your apron to go and take your painting on the go. After you've received that, you can go to a central location or order one from us, pick up your paint, and your materials and you can paint from a link virtually with Paint With Faith. But somebody may be asking, but what about the easels? The easels, Chevis, where are the easels? Well, I can't lend out all my easels, but we do rent them. If you want to have your own special painting occasion, you can rent our wooden easels or even our metal easels. Just go online, ask for a request to rent our easels and we'll send them out to you or you can pick them up. But for those of you who may not be ready to get an easel, or may not even want to go through the trouble of getting one, today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade easel. In order to make your easel, you're only going to need a few things. I have here some pieces of cardboard, markers, scissors, a cereal box, and our own Paint With Faith pack. Now, stay tuned to see how we're going to make this easel. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get your marker and some cardboard. And you're going to take your marker and you're going to draw directly on the cardboard. It's very simple. So let's just make, and let's make sure we use this divider right here so that our easel can easily bend. So we'll take our marker and we'll do maybe about two inches on each side and make a straight line. There, that's easy. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Remember, there's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. Then we'll make another two inch line on the other side of our divider. Pretty simple, right? Let's keep it going. From there, we're gonna make a U shape. All right, we'll make a U shape. Let's make it nice and thick so we have a good line of demarcation. Simple, right? Let's do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. From there, let's make another straight line down. And then on the other side, same thing. All right, that's pretty much it with the drawing part. Now, go ahead and grab your scissors and let's cut our shape out. Now if you have an X-Acto knife, this may be a little bit easier, but since some kids are watching, we don't want them to hurt themselves. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Really simple. When I'm cutting cardboard, I like to continue to bend so my hand doesn't hit the cardboard. So keep that in mind as you cut. Alright, one side's down. Let's continue to cut on this straight line. Cutting through, again, bending the cardboard to give me space to cut. Very good. Now we're going to cut around here. I'm going to cut this extra piece off, again, to give me more space to cut. Then I'll cut around this shape as best I can. Again, there's no mistakes in art and it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Same thing on the other side. Come around this side again. Bending it, getting that piece out the way. And then I'll come around to finish it up. Kids, if you need help, make sure you ask your parents for some help. Parents, be ready to help. After that, we have our homemade easy. So we're just going to bend this a little bit tighter and we can take our paint with faith pack and our canvas and now we have an easel or we can turn it this way. Now we have our homemade easel. So if you don't have 
a thick piece of cardboard at home, some of you may have a cereal box. So that way you can just use that cereal box. Make sure you take out the cereal first. There's nothing in there. Let's open the box completely. Let's pull this part apart. Very simply, pull these little tabs and let's flatten out the box. All right, now we have a nice flat box. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the side piece of the box to open it up and so that we can have a nice flat piece of cardboard. Just simply cut straight through. Now this may be easier for kids to cut because it's a thinner box. Now we have the inside of our box. After that, let's go ahead and cut off this last tab. All right, to give us some space to do what we need to do. Perfectly, there you go. Nice. All right, now we're almost done, surprisingly. We're gonna do the same thing we did last time. All right, we're gonna take one inch or two inches on the side, bring it straight down. Same thing on the other side, bring it straight down. All right, then from there we'll make our U shape. All right, again on the other side, our U shape. That's what we have so far. Now, if you made those two lines, it may be too big. So let's let's make a quick adjustment. Instead of using this outside line, let's use this middle line. Okay, we'll keep that there. So after that, you wanna go ahead, let's readjust the shape and let's bring our U all the way to here. Bring it all the way to here. All right, now that we have our scissors, let's go ahead and cut that U shape out. Again, we're gonna cut all the way to that middle side of the box. We'll make that quick adjustment. All right, again, there's no mistakes in art. So let's go ahead and do this. Keep it going right to that middle piece. After we've done that, let's go ahead and cut off down that middle area. Very good and then down on the other side. Perfect. Now, we're just about done. Let's fold this to make this tighter. Let's fold this one and make this tighter. Let's move this out of the way here. Now we have an easel again. Gonna take that, this one has a little base to hold the canvas to make it a little bit more sturdy. And there you go. You can easily now paint with faith and you can turn it either way. Perfect. So now that you have your easel, you have your paint with faith pack, you have your cardboard easel or your cereal box easel. All right, now you're ready to paint with faith. Listen, all you have to do is go ahead and book as normally as you could on our website, paintwithfaith.com, book your class, pick up your materials, and then we'll send you a link to do a virtual class and be ready to paint with faith. Remember, your life is a canvas, paint it with faith.